from here, but uh, you might want to try on a horse costume. <laughs> of the show yeah. and we shamed him for writing a joke. It was good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we, between now and when the show finishes, bring on people that we've enjoyed working with for the past ten years and shame them. That's perfect. That's perfect. Every night we'll pick somebody new, bring them on and shame them. Yeah, this is like the, like the Roman Coliseum of late night talk shows. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's good. Who, who should we who should we get out next? Who, who should we get out next? Oh, I don't know. Maybe someone who's a racist? <laughs> well, there it is. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who enjoys having his dinghy bobbed. <laughs> you show me a man that doesn't enjoy having his dinghy bobbed, and I'll show you a man that's given up on life. <laughs> yeah. Tonight's tweets and emails are brought to you by Holes, Jive Holes, Foxy Holes, Loving by Day, Pimping by Night, Knocking Out Suckers with Dynamite. He's One Man Mustache. Shut the front door! Holes. From, uh, this is from Dustin in Huntington Beach in California. Are you, uh, Jake is Dustin Hoffman? Dustin Hoffman, yeah. Yeah, it might be. be. Let's see if he's, he's on the phone. Well, Dustin Hoffman might call him. He might. Well, he might. Okay. Hello? Yeah, it's Dustin Hoffman. It's Dustin Hoffman. I know. Dustin Hoffman. Is it? Did you Dustin, send an email? Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, I sent an email. Dustin Hoffman. Okay, I'll, I'll read it out. Okay, read my email. Read my email. Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> or click. I'm still here. There's been a lot of flies in the studio. I mean, there was the Jay Leno fly. <laughs> then that was replaced with uh, a fly that appeals to a younger demographic. The, the Jimmy Fallon fly. Jimmy Fallon fly. Oh, wow, look at me. Cool, I'm a fly. So cool, awesome, cool. Whoa, look at me, I got wings. That's great. Well, no, you can't kill me. Whoa, awesome. <laughs> and then there was the... The Craig Ferguson fly. Oh, look at me. Ooh, Shrekka, Farty Donkey. Ooh, it's a great day, but... Ooh, there I go. And then, what I was thinking is, maybe there's a Dustin Hoffman fly. The Dustin Hoffman fly. Right. All right, I am a fly, Dustin Hoffman. Uh, I'll be a fly. Yeah, uh, definitely fly, definitely fly. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's what I was trying to Dustin get. Dustin Hoffman fly. Yeah, I'm trying to get. Good. Good. All right. Please. Dustin in Huntington Beach in California says, Craig, how much cocaine did you do and how has it affected your career? A lot, not much. Yeah. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Uh, still doing it. No, I'm still no, here. no, 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 me, no, me. no, 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 absolutely I not. No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. You'd know. I don't. This is me on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> This is from Avery in Temecula, California. Ever been there? Avery, yeah, many times. Okay. Um, uh, Avery says, Craig, I've been to your show three times, and all three times I sat next to someone from Russia. What's going on? <laughs> Stop bringing Russian people to the show. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Michael in uh, Brigantine in New Jersey, who says, Craig, I'm sorry to bother you, but I figured uh, you might have a great hangover remedy idea. 
Not really. This will surprise you. I was drunk. I got drunk in 1978 and sobered up 1992. And in between, didn't really get much of a hangover because in order to get a hangover, you have to stop drinking. Right. And I didn't. I got a bit of a hangover in 1992, but um, it wore off. <laughs> Yeah, so, so really, just keep drinking, I think, is what you're... I you're thought, I'm not advocating it. You're not advocating it, it but you're saying... <laughs> oh, the wind. Uh, all right. So, uh, that's all the time we have for... Oh, hello. Uh, hello? Oh, hi, it's... Uh, oh, God. Hello? Yeah, you doing it, Alan? Hello? <laughs> woman, very beautiful woman. Oh, and she smells oh. wonderful. Oh, she smells great, and she's lovely, and she's successful, and she can sing, and she can act, and she's a TV personality, and she's... <gasps> <gasps> Wait, what what the hell is she doing here? Story. I don't know. <laughs> she's kind. She's kind. She's kind. Charitable. She's kind, Charitable. so she goes to, you know, underprivileged places and helps. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's uh, currently hosting America's Got Talent Live this weekend at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas. Please welcome my bestie friend, Mel B, everybody! <laughs> Fantastic! You had a haircut, I can see it. I know, I got rid of all my hair. It looks great! I'm in two minds still. Oh, it looks fantastic! You, you, it's like sexy spice. Look at that. No, yeah. oh, I feel like a bit of a soccer mum. Okay. Tell me, I'm used to like lots of it everywhere. Well, no, it, it looks great. It really does. I, I mean, when I saw, I saw you last week. Yeah, for Yeah, and it was all there, and then you said you were going away. Were you going away to the hairdresser? <laughs> Yeah, I was. I did it. Yeah, Finally, it looked, it's, made I, it's really, really nice. Really, it is. Yeah, but now I don't believe you because you've said it way too much now. <laughs> you know, I mean, when somebody goes, no, honestly, really, really nice. Are you thinking? I'm no. just trying to not talk about your breasts. That's all. <laughs> well, they are. They're oh, they're nice too. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Um, so, um, America's Got Talent in Las Vegas, eh? Yeah, I'm hosting the whole event. Didn't get a word of that. Didn't get a word of that. <laughs> you understand it? Yeah, it's going to be fun. I love Vegas. I used to always actually really? live in Vegas. Yeah. Do you have a gambling problem? No, I don't actually gamble. I'm crap at it. I don't gamble at all. No. No, when I go to Vegas, I do something else. What do you do? Well, I suppose you could call it a type of gambling. <laughs> oh, you go to... Ladies' bars. No, I do not go to ladies' bars. Do you, have you ever gone to a gentleman's bar? Of course I have with my Me? husband, yeah. What? So, you know, where there's ladies on poles and stuff. No, no, I free. mean a gentleman's bar where gentlemen are doing the thunder from down under and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, I went and saw that once, but that's not my flavour. <laughs> Did you just come out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that look of going to watch oh, right, that and they're right. all oily and they touch you, you don't know where they've been. I know, I know. <laughs> like, not oh, hang on, I'm getting hot now, don't say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so what happens when your America's Got Talent? You host it, is it a competition then or is it just people who have... No, it's the top six that made it to the top six. Oh. They get to perform live and obviously the winner, right. Franco, who I called it from day one, he was going to win it. Yeah, you're, you're good at that. I'm yeah. good at that. What about, uh, 
You do America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, and uh, no, uh, Who's Your Boss? What is it called again? Simon Cowell. Yeah, yeah. But X Factor in the UK. X Factor in the UK, America's Got Talent, and what's the Australian one? Voice Kids. Voice My Dingo. <laughs> so, so who is the most talented people, America, Australia, or uh, Britain? Well, I think I'd have to say America, because it's a varied amount of talent. It's not just singers. I mean, there's talent everywhere here. What kind of talent is going to work, though, other than singing? Like, you know, with all respect to jugglers, you know, if a juggler comes out and wins the best juggler, what's oh, going to happen? Like, let's go see that guy for an hour and a half? Well, look, I mean, the Blue Man Group have their show in Vegas, and yeah, blue true. people banging drums with pain. Who would have thought that would work? You know, I went to see that downtown New York in 1992 or 3, I saw it, and it was fantastic then. It's been going that long? Yeah, it's been going for ages. Wow. For ages. I mean, I was just sober. And I... Uh, wow. And that's what you go and see? Well, that was a weird thing, because I just got sober, and I went to see this show, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't know if I got sober at all. It's a great show. Do you like that it show? Is. I do. Yeah, yeah. And I'm taking the kids down with me. Oh, that's Vegas. nice. Yeah. Well, where where will you take them then? Where do you take them? They play craps and stuff. No, they go. We go. We go. We go to the pool and we go for dinner. Oh, that's that the family nice. thing. You lived in Vegas for a while, right? I did. I had my show at Planet Hollywood. Oh, right. My kids went to school there. It's actually quite a nice life because I like the heat and it's really well it's hot. hot yeah yeah no it's very hot yeah yeah and um and what about celebrity name game you were on that I was so I can have a that game. game I have to apologize it sounds, it sounds like something else uh, you, uh, no it's it's her accent I was not good what did I get one point you were great at it you were the no. best you, I tell you when you were on that show I was like wow but that was just watching you giving the clues other than that <laughs> No, oh, it's very good. No, you did great. It's okay. No, it's just a stupid game to play on TV. It's not like you know. You don't want to be that crap because you got you have to help them win. Right. Well, they won. Didn't somebody win when you were there? Not when not my when I was doing it. No. Really? <laughs> well, you're right then. You were crap at it. But because oh, it's not that hard. I know, but when you're put on the spot and you have to give clues and. You have to make things make sense. I'm not I very know. good at that. No, me neither. You see the monologue? Good Lord. <laughs> You're wearing a lot of glittery tonight. It's I very know, it's nice. Done. You're, is that your real nail with all them jewels on it? Well, I own them. <laughs> <laughs> I like the rig that you've got going on. I like your ring and I like the watch. It's a man's watch. That's yeah, a good a look. Yeah, it's a Daytona thing. Yeah. I don't really wear jewellery apart from that and this. These are the love bracelets that my husband got me. Well, that's nice. You can never take them off, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, because when you go through the airport, you beep. <laughs> Always. Right. Well, don't they say, it's my bracelets. That's what they... I sound like. Over. Damn Over. it. <laughs> he said, hello, Jeff, I, can you do... Yeah, it's my bracelets. <laughs> I'm sorry for beeping, it's my bracelets. <laughs> Scottish. That's not a bad accent. I just, uh, it sounds very manly. You know what? Well, not on you, it doesn't. But, um, <laughs> you know what it sounds like? Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? No. Because people in Game of Thrones talk with your accent if they're from north of the wall. Yeah. They talk like that. They talk like, oh, I, wow. <laughs> Jon Snow, Jon Snow, no, and his Game of Thrones. That sounds awful. No, it's great. It's a good show. You'd like it. You let the kids see it. They'd love it too. They would. No. <laughs> uh, it's a joke. It's a joke. What about a Spice Girls reunion? Any chance of that? Well, unfortunately, I'm the one that always says yes, it's going to happen, and the other four are like, well, when are you going to tell us? I'm like always champion it along. Can you but imagine I don't think how huge that would be? That'd be huge. I would love it. That'd I'd be love fantastic. It. And you could all dance around in your little outfits. <laughs> Maybe I could put a little outfit on and come and introduce you. <laughs> well, we had fun at the Olympics performing together. Yeah, that was great. That, that, that was, was a great fun. opening ceremony, that, that Olympics thing. <laughs> it was good to see you there with your big boots on and stuff. <laughs> Do I sound creepy right now? A little yeah, bit. Little yeah, bit. Little bit. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Okay. I said we have to take a commercial oh break. Oh my god! Shut up! We'll be right back, we'll be right back. No, wait. Yeah. Welcome back.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Mel B. We were just sitting quietly during the commercial break, not talking to each other. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. That's it? Right then. Sort of, kind of. Well, no, wait, stay. stay. Be serious. Well, or walk around a little bit and then sit down. I don't know. Are you, are you in therapy at all, by any chance? I have had therapy. I, I like it. I enjoy it, too. That's why I'm getting my paper. Yeah. Let's, I'll be the therapist and okay. you'll be you. All right. All right. So, will there be a Spice Girls reunion? <laughs> I wanted to be, but no, there isn't. Not yet. Not yet. Well, well you, come on, let's... Well, what else for? Then, uh, well, why are you afraid of mice? I'm not. Why are you not afraid of mice? <laughs> so usually in therapy, I just bitch and moan about my husband. Why? Wow. Oh, does? this is fine. <laughs> why? What's wrong? Well, like, silly things, like, he likes to sleep with a TV on. Right. I don't. It keeps me awake. Right. So it's a debate every night. And who wins? Well, he ends up winning because then he ends up putting something on that I actually want to watch. And then I'm like... When you say put something on, you mean... TV. Oh, oh TV, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, because I think the way out of your problem is that he turns the TV off and entertains you himself with some form of performance. Oh, he does that, but... Okay. Nice. <laughs> No, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I mean what like do you it, mean? It, like a little one man play or something. Well, it is. <laughs> You're very fun. We are out of time though. Do you want some candy or something? No, what kind of chocolate is it? Is it Cadbury's? Uh no, it's uh it's uh, late late show chocolate. It's the cheapest probably you can get. <laughs> Kids might like that. Well, well, you can give it to them then. Uh, they can watch, they can eat it while they're watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you watch on the telly? Uh, I'm into Scandal. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I got into Breaking Bad, but then I travel so much. Well, Bre you can watch it on your. Uh, can I say iPad or have I got to say tablet? You can watch it on your iPad. <laughs> We gotta go now.